YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. DraftKings falls over 10% today. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So a lot of you uh, have been looking for an opportunity to get in on DraftKings, and this could be potentially a good time to get in. So at the time of this recording, we've got five minutes left for the market, and you can see that DraftKings is down to $36.62. So let me zoom this in for you guys because I know a lot of times you guys say you can't, can't see what's going on. So you can see here. $36. And I'm going to bring this thing out from a six month out perspective. We have not been this low since uh, it looks like earlier this year. So January this year. So for me, if, if I were going to be getting into this thing, I would start the dollar cost average in on it now. Um, and a lot of times, you know, we have to think, why did it fall? So let's go ahead and look into it. So we come down and we can see that DraftKings FanDuel uh, is blistered by a 140% Illinois tax hike, okay? So let's look a little bit more into this. And initially, you know, it could possibly be uh, overreaction. Now, I, I would say, yes, it probably does um, deserve some sort of sell-off because of that. Things are going to have to be factored into this, but a 10% correction, I don't know. So we can see that uh, it's facing 140% hike in taxes, uh, online sports bets, and new budget approved by the Illinois Senator over the weekend. So both DraftKings and Flutter Entertainment uh, fell in today's stock market action. Uh, extending losses late last week. So uh, it says that analysts note that BTIG said it expects DraftKings and FULT to pay 36% tax and 37% tax rates, respectively, on gross gaming revenue under the state's 2025 budget that would amount to a tax height of 140% to 147% compared to the current 15% tax rate. Now, however, BTIG added that, in it, that it anticipates the, that online uh, sports betting firms can offset the tax hike by implementing cost controls. So before efforts to mitigate the tax hike, city analysts said it could cost Flutter $94 million if in place over a full year. So mitigation may come from lower promotional spending, uh, the firm said. So overall, uh, this is not good news in the short term. Not sure what's going to happen with other states and potential stack, uh, tax rates. But what's going to happen is the betting is going to somehow probably, you know, be put on the on the better, right? So if you're betting in DraftKings, FanDuel, um, and these other websites, you're probably going to be taxed more um, in some form or fashion, right? So I don't know much about you know the online betting, but whatever fees that you you normally have are probably going to go up because they're going to put it all on you. Okay, now. You can see DraftKings plunged 10.5% to $36.54 in today's market, which we talked about that. Um, so for me, if I was to get into something like this, it would be now uh, start the dollar cost average. It could potentially go down even further. Like I said, I don't know what the implications are as far as other tax, uh, other states and what they plan on doing with this online betting tax, but uh, it is, it's, this is not good, but I think it'll brush over at some point, right? So other than that, guys, that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you guys uh, like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you feel about this. Do you guys think that this is an overreaction? They'll get things together. Uh, 
you think all of this, this is going to be pushed on the betters. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys, and I'm out. Peace.